We are already seeing people out on the road and in the skies for this Labor Day weekend, but some early data shows the number of people actually traveling to our area's beaches could be slightly down this year. Let's bring in Fox News' David Kaplan, who is working on this for us tonight. David, how much of a dip are we talking here? Jacqueline and Tisha, in Delaware, the Dewey Rehoboth Beach Chamber of Commerce is reporting a little bit over a 10% dip in the number of weekend rooms rented thus far this year compared to last year. There is some nuance here, a couple factors at play based on my conversation with some experts and with the Chamber of Commerce. First of all, 2021 and 2022 were great years for local beaches. At those stages of the pandemic, it was much easier to travel to a beach rather than get on an airplane or travel internationally. I checked Transportation Security Administration data nationwide. More people are flying. Last month, there were more people on airplanes every single day but one this year compared to last year. Carrie Lingo with the the Chamber of Commerce says this so-called revenge travel phenomenon is real. It's where people can now fly with more ease, and that's had an impact locally. Our conversation at the Chamber is that it's a combination of both the economy, but also that overseas travel has opened up. Um, I think it's the combination of the two, which is why you're seeing it down a little bit. All right, so there's also an economic question here. Polls done before the summer travel season suggested people were either not traveling or spending less if they did travel over the summer. For some insights on that, I spoke with Jung Ho Sa. He's a professor at George Washington University. He also says right now, generally, many people traveling internationally are actually willing to spend more when they do. That's playing a role here. Sue tells me there are studies out there that do show the success domestic travel had in 2021 and 2022, and that those are not being sustained at the same levels this year. It is primarily, primarily influenced by the, as we discussed earlier, current economic conditions, such as inflation, cost of living hike, and higher transportation uh, prices, higher transportation, travel cost, et cetera. So that affected a lot. So at the Delaware beaches, the Chamber of Commerce tells me, look, yes, this year was down a bit, but they are still optimistic, particularly for the rest of this year. September and October, they are bolstering the number of events there and tell me they're actually expecting early summer sized crowds during that so-called collar season between Labor Day and the fall. Back to you.